Welcome to the Outdoor Adventures. Here on this channel you can expect all kinds of photography videos, vlogs, at the house videos. Let's check this out guys, what we're getting ready to take a picture of. I found this amazing field up here with some hay bolts over here and it is golden hour right now so unfortunately because I'm a truck driver I do not have a whole lot of time but I'll show you what my goal is. What my goal is is to take a picture of this hay bowl right here and get those beautiful colored trees right over there with that beautiful pink sky over there all in one shot with all the hay bolts in the back there let's do it guys I gotta do this quick so I got my camera set up over here and so let's go ahead and explain to you guys exactly what we're going to be doing over here let's see hopefully uh, you guys are able to see this let me just turn this down a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm manually focused on the sky. So you can see my histogram is pretty good. We are sitting at F11, shutter speed at 10 seconds. And I got ISO on auto. I probably shouldn't do that. Let me uh, actually put that on 100 ISO because I don't want the sky to be overexposed so you want to make sure that the line is exactly in the center right there so what I'm going to do I already pre-focused manual focus and uh, what I did is I actually zoomed in and uh, I kind of took a good look at it and see if it was in focus to me it looks good right about there right yeah, right about there looks good to me. So what I'm going to do is I got a two second timer on it. I'm just going to quickly take a picture like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn autofocus on. And then I'm going to move my focus point to this hay bowl right here. And then I'm going to brighten this up a little bit so you guys can actually see this and let's see if we can focus on that it actually does focus on that and I'm going to constantly keep an eye on my histogram I don't want it to go over on that line as you guys can see so let's take a picture of that I know my histogram is a little bit higher but it's probably because it's reading off the center and then I'm going to move all the way to the other side where them trees are over there and the mosquitoes are horrible out here today and I'm just going to lower my exposure now I'm gonna raise it a little bit because I want those trees to be really good visible and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them into Photoshop and I will uh, stitch them together to make it into one picture I'm really sweating right now because it's kind of hot out here and I just finished taking some awesome pictures of that. Hopefully they'll turn out really good. I'm going to be stacking up those pictures. Uh, probably what I'm doing is uh, like taking, uh, not probably, what I'm doing is I'm taking three uh, exposures, one for those colored trees and then one for the sky over there. And then the next one over here for that uh, hay bowl. But I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a ton of mosquitoes out here. I don't know, they're trying to kill me here. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go back. I had, uh, had enough time and as you guys might be able to see there's actually a little bit of fog or moisture up in the air there or on the grass there. You guys see that? I don't know if the camera is actually able to pick that up but uh, yeah. Let's go and edit those pictures. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on how I stack those pictures or uh, edit my photos or anything like that just leave me a comment down below and I would be happy to, uh, to do one for you guys just in case you guys are curious on how I do it. I'm just having a hard time stopping to take pictures of these guys because look at this beauty right here with all the fog in there. I think I'm gonna go closer over there and see if I can get an amazing shot over there. What do you guys think? Just made it home guys, I really did. We uh, had a pretty busy day so far. I've been editing uh, the last video that you guys saw and now we are outside getting ready to cook us some supper out here firing up our fire pit and as you guys just saw 
I had way too much fun out there recording uh, or taking pictures of rather I should say of uh, the sunset and uh, you know as the sun was setting then uh, there was like the uh, fog rising from the ground or whatever you want to call it and when I got back to my truck there was actually another truck that just pulled in he had beautiful beautiful color uh, chicken lights we call them on them so uh, yeah I hope you guys are going to enjoy those pictures but we're going to go ahead and cook us some supper so let's see what's going to be for supper here in a bit. What do you guys think? Is it time to check on our uh, stuff yet? I think it is. Look at that. We are definitely cooking us a nice, very nice stew right there. Yes, indeed we are. And I think it's just about done. So guess what? We're going to head inside real quick here in a few minutes. And we'll go ahead and have us an awesome supper. We need to fill our bodies, right? We have decided to go for a little bit of a drive. Let's check this out where we are. Yeah, I'm hoping you guys are gonna be able to see that right there. Hoping the sun is not blocking that too much. What are we looking at over here? Map. History. A map? History? The Crowing Trail, yeah. The Crowing Trail. Mm-hmm. So, if you guys want to read up on all these histories up here, there's a lot to read up on. <laughs> Yikes, yeah, that is, that is a lot to read up on. It's from 1844. 1844, eh? Wow. Yeah, it's a hanging bridge that we are going to go to. I'm not exactly sure whereabouts it's at, but... Uh, we're going to go see if we can find it up here somewhere. We've been here before, but it's been many, many years ago. So, let's go for a little bit of a walk. we got to follow this trail right here. And then I think there is some steps that we got to go down towards the river. And then there's a hanging bridge, so let's go check it out, guys. Well, we have arrived at the, uh, basically, uh, entrance, I guess you could call it. Let's uh, have a look at that a little bit. And so you guys can read that for yourself. This is basically where it starts going down uh, towards the river. And they used to have like a sign-in sheet over here. And for those of you guys that just want to read some of this history on here, hopefully you guys are going to be able to see that. And you guys can read the history on it. Pause the video if you want. Yeah. And I think they used to have like a registry book in here or something. I don't see anything in there anymore. They must have cleaned it all up already. I guess, uh, I don't know, people must have left garbage in here or something. Yeah. Yeah, there's another history, I guess, on there. So this is where it begins. Going all the way down there. I don't know if you guys can actually see the river down there. But let's start going down here. Make our way down to the hanging bridge. Hopefully we can still see it. I don't see it yet. But uh, it is very windy up here today. And we thought it would be a perfect time. Uh, not because of the wind, but because of fall. All the colors and everything to come down here. It's been a very long time since we've been down here. I don't even think we've ever shown this on video, to be honest with you guys. And I said, you know what, since this is an outdoor adventure kind of 
deal nowadays. Uh, the arrow shows this way. I guess that just kind of goes to the river, but I think the hanging bridge is further down the road. I figured, you know what, since all the leaves are falling and everything, why not show you the beauty? And our goal is to uh, possibly take some pictures as well from the hanging bridge, if we can. And uh, maybe display some of the beautiful colors up here, but look at all the, yeah, look, look at all the leaves on the ground here. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get the colors that we want in the picture, but we're going to attempt to take a few pictures of it anyways. I have arrived at this hanging bridge over here. Let's take a look. It's anchored down over there. And then you got this hanging bridge over the water right here over the river. And we're going to go ahead and get across to the other side. And then we're going to attempt to see if we can take a nice picture of this hanging bridge. The signs up there say that this was one of the most beautiful areas in southern Manitoba. Let's see what kind of sign we have there. Can't quite make it out what it says on there but maybe we can make it out from the other side right? You never know. All right let's get on this bridge. We gotta climb these stairs. They got all kinds of written stuff on it here. Oh man wish me luck. Hopefully this will hold my weight up here. <laughs> oh man, this has been a few years since I've been on this bridge and uh, it can definitely be scary that's for sure. Oh man, look at that, there's a few rocks, the river kind of bends around the corner like that and I'm going to attempt to go over there and see if I can set up my tripod over there somewhere and take a picture of this bridge. But yeah, here we go. You got all kinds of written stuff on there. The uh, bridge has been rebuilt. I don't know how long ago. I think it said on the sign there somewhere, but it's been rebuilt a while back ago. But <laughs> this is scary. You guys see that? How this, how this whole side is like waving back and forth and everything. That's scary. It almost looks like there is like somebody has got a hunting shack over there. Yeah, I think most of that is private property, yeah. It definitely is, but it's maybe not quite as beautiful as I thought it might be, but uh, we're going to attempt the shot anyways. We'll see what it looks like. But let's go across to the other side, and we'll see what it looks like once we get ready to take a picture, right? As you guys can see, I did manage to climb over onto this side here. A lot of bush up here, but uh, I did manage to climb over here and it is absolutely gorgeous view. I just wish it wasn't quite as windy. Then I could do a little bit better pictures, but what I'm doing right now is I got my camera set up right here and I don't have a lot of space, but I did set up my tripod and I'm hoping to uh, get a bunch of pictures I've been taking a bunch of them and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge them together and make the water real nice and smooth at least that's my goal uh, I set the set the uh, shutter speed at 250th of a second I got the uh, 24 to 105 millimeter Canon L lens on here and I just finished doing the time lapse there because it's starting to get windy and some of these leaves were starting to get probably close into my shot but yeah what I'm going to try attempt to do is make the, the, the water nice and uh, silky and then uh, have a nice nice shot of that because there's beautiful reflections of the colors from all them fall trees you know with all the beautiful different colors so I'm hoping that will give a nice reflection on the water so that's the goal anyways and then we got that rock up there in the water and it would look real nice to do a nice picture of that and do uh, maybe a reflection on the water there as well. We'll see if we can give that a shot. Hey Lisa, just in case you're watching, 
This guy is watching you. Uh-huh. There is another one. Yeah. He's hiding over here in the grass. Let me see if I can find him. Right there he is. Yeah. Look at that, eh? Beautiful. Anyways, we're just kind of sitting back and relaxing. Getting a little time lapse going over there. Hopefully that's going to work out good. <laughs> 